Thank you. Uh, no disclosures. Uh, Institutional Ethics Committee approval was taken for this particular study. A 72 years old uh, gentleman diagnosed with clinically appendicitis, CT abdomen proved the same. Considering the age, we requested him to undergo colonoscopy to rule out the secondary appendicitis, any osteal pathology. A wide appendicular inflamed osteum was seen. We advised him colonoscopic appendicectomy. We couldn't prepare the bowel. Wide osteum was seen. We dilated the osteum with a balloon 12 millimeter size. The osteal muscles, they are having crisscross fibers which will prevent retraction of the appendix. Therefore, good proper dilatation at that particular level is very mandatory. Almost one minute, two to three times dilatation is required. We also did it with 15 or 18 millimeter, but that causes some trauma there. So we fixed it at the 12 millimeter size of balloon. Once the balloon dilatation is done properly, then we do flush the things so that all debris comes out. And then a specially prepared rat tooth forcep with some potential space in between the sheath and the forcep metal. Uh, we apply a 30 PSI pressure to the sheath so that it can hold on the appendix for retraction. And once it holds on, otherwise uh, many times it takes the bite and comes out. So that pressure, negative pressure holds on the lumen and the wall of the appendix. Too much pressure is required. Many times the pressure, uh, your endoscope is pulled back up to the hepatic flexure. Once that is pulled inside, then that pressure is maintained. The pus is coming out now. The pressure is maintained, pulling the not only the forcep but also the endoscope so that it will properly. Now we are at the level of the uh, hepatic flexure. So the complete appendix is retroverted, inverted, and then we give a complete wash. This particular patient also had uh, right-sided diverticular disease. After giving wash to see the base of the appendix properly, and this is one of the trickiest the trickiest part of the uh, procedure because with single lumen putting a loop there, reaching up to the base of the appendix is really tricky. So it takes a lot of time, at least 10-15 minutes, multiple attempts they are needed. Might be double channel endoscope will help it properly. So we are at the base of the appendix now. <coughs> And once that loop is applied there, that can be cut also for the biopsy. So difficulties faced are failure to evert the appendix. We attempted this procedure in almost 32 cases. COVID period, period was dormant. Would complete the procedure in only five cases, 15.3, 15.6% success rate. Younger, short history, non-recurrent, lesser BMI patients are to be selected. Lesser BMI because uh, the thick mesoappendix will be retracting properly. Time needed was 51%, attempts were six, and more BMI, failure chances are more. And uh, more duration of the symptoms, failure chances are more. Sedation with midazolam and propofol was needed, ready for discharge in four hours. You can see the pain was very minimum as compared to the three port and single port. In conclusion, endoscopic appendicectomy is feasible, needs more standardization of the procedure and development of proper instrumentation and legal status to the procedure. Difficulty is that you get inverted image in endoscope 
but we keep the monitor upside down so that we get it properly. Thank you very much. Thank you.